हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं सिद्धार्थ मालविया आज आपके लिए फिर से एक्साइटिंग वेबिनार लेकर के आया हूं जो कि कुछ नए एक्साइटमेंट लेवल के ऊपर बेस्ड है गेम्स खेलना किसे पसंद है अगर हम लोग देखें कि आज का यूथ जो है वो कहीं मोबाइल में तो कहीं प्ले स्टेशन पर हम गेम खेलते हुए दिखाई देते हैं बट हम ये नहीं जान पाते कि इस गेम का जो डिजाइनिंग पार्ट होता है इसमें जो क्रॉप्स डिजाइन होते हैं या जिसके असर डिजाइन होते हैं वो किस तरह से डिजाइन होते हैं या अगर हमें बड़ी अच्छी अच्छी हमें इसमें गन्स दिखती हैं अगर मिशन गेम है तो या हमें बहुत अच्छे एनवायरमेंट्स दिखते हैं तो ये चीजें हम सिर्फ देख करके ही इसका लुफ्त उठा पाते हैं बट ये बनते कैसे होंगे ये क्रिएट कैसे होते होंगे ये एक हमारे लिए एक मिस्ट्री रहती है तो आज हम आपके लिए इस वेबिनार में यही चीज लेकर के आए हैं कि हमारा हम हमारे गेम्स में किस तरह के असेट्स बना सकते हैं और बहुत ही इन्हें क्विकली क्विकली कैसे बना सकते हैं तो इसके लिए आज हमारे पास में गेस्ट स्पीकर जो हैं वो हैं गणेश सर जो कि इंडस्ट्री में कुछ आठ से आठ से ज़्यादा सालों से इस इंडस्ट्री में हैं इन्होंने कई इंटरनेशनल एड्स में मूवीज में और गेम्स में उन्होंने असेट्स को बनाया है मॉडल किया है और आज हम उन्हीं से ये सीखने वाले हैं कि अगर हमें हमारे लिए कोई गेम अगर बनाना है या डिज़ाइन करना है तो हमारे आर्टिस्ट उसे किस तरह से क्विकली बना सकते हैं और एक गेम के अंदर में उसे हम लोग बिल्ड कर सकते हैं तो फर्स्ट चीज आज हम लोग ये देखने वाले हैं कि किस तरह से ये गेम्स के असेट्स बनाए जाएंगे अच्छा फर्स्ट हम गणेश सर को आ, आ, पहले वेलकम करने से पहले आप सबको एक चीज़ याद दिला दें कि अगर आपने हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो प्लीज हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें ताकि आपको ये इस तरह के वेबिनार और इस तरह के अलग से बहुत से वेबिनार्स की लिस्ट आपको यहाँ मिल जाए और साथ ही आप इस बेल आइकन को दबा दीजिए ताकि आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहे कि ओके अब हमारा जो नेक्स्ट वेबिनार है वो कब है और क्या उसके वेबिनार के कॉन्टेंट्स हैं तो चलिए बिना टाइम वेस्ट किए हम लोग गणेश सर को वेलकम करते हैं तो हेलो गणेश सर हेलो एम आई ऑडियोबल सर योर कैमरा इज ऑफ जस्ट मैंने प्लीज जस्ट मैंने यस सर सर थोड़ा सा टेक्निकल ग्लिच है शायद कैमरा को कुछ प्रॉब्लम हुआ है बट यस आज हम लोग जो देखने वाले हैं चीज़ें वो कुछ बहुत ही एक्साइटिंग लेवल पे रहेंगी कि हम किस तरह से एक गेम गेम के लिए हम कुछ बना करके देखेंगे और गेम में हम लोग किस तरह से एक हार्ड सर्फिस मॉडलिंग के ऊपर काम करने वाले हैं तो ये चीज़ें हम लोग अभी देखने वाले हैं सर यू आर नॉट विजिबल Uh, just give me a minute. There's a technical glitch with the camera. Just a minute. हेलो सर सो गाइस जब तक हम आपके साथ में ये चीज डिस्कस कर रहे हैं कि एक गेम को बनाने के लिए क्या क्या चीजों की रिक्वायरमेंट होती है और किस तरह से हम लोग गेम को बना सकते हैं अगर हम लोग देखें तो गेम में हमें कुछ कुछ चीजों का ध्यान रखना पड़ता है कि गेम के आ, किस प्लेटफॉर्म के लिए गेम बन रहा है जैसे अगर मैं आपको बोलूँ की यस अगर हम लोग मोबाइल में खेल रहे हैं या हम उस गेम को प्ले करने वाले हैं किसी प्ले स्टेशन पर तो दोनों के मॉडलिंग की जो टेक्निक होगी वो कुछ अलग होगी शायद गणेश सर हमें इसमें और हेल्प करेंगे कि वो टेक्निक क्या होगी किस तरह से होगी बट जब तक गणेश सर हमसे कनेक्ट करते हैं आ, हम आपको ये चीज़ बता सकते हैं कि यस आप एक हाई एंड ग्राफिक्स वाला गेम मोबाइल में भी खेल सकते हैं और एक हाई एंड ग्राफिक वाला गेम जो होता है वो आप एक प्ले स्टेशन पर भी खेल सकते हैं बट अगर कुछ ना कुछ इस चीज़ में दोनों में कुछ ना कुछ डिफरेंस रहते हैं वो हमें जब सर ऑनलाइन आ जाएंगे तो हमें वो चीज़ भी और क्लियर हो जाएगी सर यू आर नॉट विजिबल राइट नाउ जस्टिन्यू विदेशन दैमरा विदेशन 
मुझे दे दीजिए और हमारे व्यूअर्स भी बड़ी बेसब्री से आपका इंतजार कर रहे हैं कि आपके एक इंट्रोडक्शन जब तक उन्हें मिल जाए कि हाँ यस आप लोग चीजें कर रहे हैं ओके आई एम गणेश बाबू नायक हु हैज 8 प्लस इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस इंडस्ट्री आई बेसिकली वर्क इन फ्रेम बॉक्स एज अ सीनियर थ्री एंड बी एफएक्स फैकल्टी सो आई विल बी शोइंग यू अ बिट ऑफ हार्ड सरफेस मॉडलिंग टेक्निक इन माया एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स लाइक हाउ यू मस्ट बी हाउ यू वांट टू बी डिफरेंट देन अदर्स व्हेन आई वांट टू डू मॉडलिंग एंड व्हाई दे मस्ट सेलेक्ट यू हायर यू दैट इज द थिंग्स व्हिच आई विल शो यू राइट नाउ ओके दैट्स ग्रेट दैट्स ग्रेट सर uh okay can we uh, can i share my screen yes sir but uh, you are not visible okay uh i'll share my screen for a little while let me take it over from here so ओके लेट्स 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 स्टार्ट सर लेट्स स्टार्ट हम आपका स्क्रीन शेयर कर रहे हैं एंड आई एम आउट फॉर टाइम बीइंग काइंडली शेयर योर स्क्रीन काइंडली शेयर योर स्क्रीन सर यस आई एम शेयर्ड माय स्क्रीन ओके वी विल स्टार्ट द वेबिनार एंड यू ओवर टू यू सर टेक ओवर okay uh, guys first and foremost i'll be uh, taking over uh, over here in this module so i'll be doing this module at present right now i'll be explaining you how we mesh and other things many of the other things will go on over here there are few things that you must know whenever you are doing modeling or whenever you are trying to do any new things in the industry is like what will make you special that is quite important uh, so i do have few things over here uh, this is one of the asset which i have uh, designed over here so so i'll show you how and what what is some so much different than this this looks like a normal violin for you guys in the initial stage say when you start but once i show you the major important thing for example uh how this is actually that or what are the things which are uh what is it is going to make you a special look mm, just a minute so it looks like a violin it's a game asset basically game assets are something which are uh, not uh, like which are really good and which are quite going to be interesting impressive look it is just a violent and uh, initial stage over here has if any person comes over here to attack it will turn into a bow over here bow and violent so this is the thing over here and i'll be showing you how the mesh flows over here Uh, I basically work in uh, the expert mode, like by pressing Control and Spacebar as the shortcut key to go into the expert mode, and uh, Control Shift A to select all. I'm going to press three on the keyboard to make it a smooth mode over here. Over here, look, this is how the model is actually over here. This is how the model is. So you can see the mesh flow over here. I've used a low poly character mesh over here. every game right now in the gaming industry your uh, performance of the ram or in the computer is like we have come beyond the uh, old stages right now older stage what used to happen is like if a person had 4 gb ram it was like enough now we have gone extend so we have few things like high poly and low poly characters when the low poly and some places over here look everything is a separate way and in the same way this is one of the model which i'll be taking it today so uh, this is done from one of the 3d artists so i've got some of the source over, over here in the pure ref okay so this uh, this is my complete reference which is actually there so i'm going to go into photoshop first so once i've gone gone into photoshop i've got this reference image from here Uh, Mr. Dave Parker is the uh, 3D designer who's done it for him. Um, so I'm going to use this character. You can just have a look at his uh, uh, art session page once. So what I'll be doing over here is in Photoshop, I'm going to segregate my list over here. You can actually see I've got a side view, I've got a front view of this. So I'll be saving this one a side view and a front view. 
over here and uh, the Photoshop file over here. Look, the I'm going to go down over here. Just a minute. So, Maya. So, this is the uh, image which I've got right now. So, first and foremost, what I'll be doing is, I'm going to close this file. I'll show you how it, uh, how this is done actually over here. Uh, you can actually see there are a uh, little bit really interesting things over here. The gun which has, uh, this is basically called as a stun gun in the game. Most of the games, if you have played uh, games, uh, you'll be going, uh, you have seen some of the characters, most of the characters in this way, which uh, the characters hold the gun in this way. So I'll be doing those things. So I'll close my file. I don't want to save this. I've opened a new Maya file over here. First and foremost, what you must do is you need to set a project. So project setting is really important for you. So how do you set a project? It is like, I need to go to file, project window over here. Look, I'm going to go to file, project window. I'm going to create a new over here. I'll give a name, project window, like the name of the, uh, what I'm going to create. I'm going to create a stun gun. I've given the name of this. And uh, you can actually see, I've, I'm going to show the location where I need to save it. So I'm going to go to the location folder over here. I'm going to save it on desktop at present right now. Desktop and set. Okay, I'm going to accept it over here. So once I've gone over here on my desktop, I have a new folder which has been named in the stun gun. Okay, so you have a folder which is actually named by stun gun over here. Inside this folder, I'm going to go into source image. I'm going to save my complete uh, the images which I'll be using it over here. I'm going to save it over here. For example, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to save it over here. You can actually see. So I've got my front view. In the same way, I've got my side view. These two are my important reference. What is actually going to be there. Okay. So I'm going to close this. So I'm going to go into Maya. I'm going to press spacebar. Go into my uh, minimize viewport. I'm going to go into side view over here. Look. I'll go to views. Import image planer. Like image planer. Import image planer. Uh, remember that side view which we have created. So I'm going to get my side view into side view over here. Open. So it is over here. In the same way, I'm going to do it to the front view also. I'm going to go to views, image, import image, yeah, same. Front. I'm going to import my front view over here. So I've imported it. You can actually see it over here on my screen. It's over here. So I'm going to mark me select this and lift it up. So once I've done this, in the perspective viewport, I'm going to send it behind in this axis. I'm going to send it in the, uh, the axis, not in the uniformitic way like this. I'm going to send it in the x-axis, y-axis, only in those axis. So once I've done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check whether my image, both the sides, whether these images are matched. For example, look, so this image a bit, I want it to be in center over here. So I've got it in the center and over here also in the center. And look, what I will do is I will right click, uh, shift right click. I'm going to import, uh, like I'm going to create a plane over here. I'm going to move this. So I'm going to check whether this is proper or not. Look, so I'm going to select a location over here. Like for example, this the portion over here. Yes, these two should match. So a bit down. I can use it in the attribute bar by pressing Ctrl A on the keyboard over here. Twice. I can I can manipulate, I can change the axis in my other viewport also over here. Like I have X, Y and Z axis over here. I can change it over here also. So I'll go to the uh, wireframe mode over here. Click on this. So yes, I've got it in the perfect way right now. So there's no necessary for me to create uh, like to have a plane anymore right now. So once I've done this, 
the most important thing is like the layers which are going to work. It is the same like Photoshop over here. So what I will do is I'm going to select my image planer and my perspective viewport. I'm going to go to my layers panel over here. Uh, onto my layers panel over here. I'm going to create a new layer and assign it. Like for example, once I've selected this, I'm going to go over here. If I hover my gizmo onto this icon over here, you can actually tell. It is going to tell what is this. It is like create a new layer and assign the selected object to it. Okay. So I'm going to click on this. By pressing V, V is for visibility. You can actually see I've created a new layer and I've assigned the image into the new layer. So once I've done this, I'm going to double click on my layer over here. Look onto the layer name over here, layer one. I'm going to name it as source image and press OK. So once I've named it into source image, I'm going to lock this. By accidentally also, I must not touch my any of my image cleaner when I'm working. So I'm going to press R over here onto this R. So R means that it's going to lock. So once I've done this, I'm going to start modeling over here. But what happens is like, for example, I'm working in the perspective viewport right now. If I orbit my camera, you can actually see what is happening is that my image planer is blocking my object, which is actually there over here. So what I will do is I'll go to show over here. I'm going to go into enable my image planer. I can even press Alt 4 over here, or I can just click on this icon. So now you can actually see image planer is only off in my perspective because I've commanded it only to off in my perspective. Previously, what happened is like uh, our Ma Maya had an option by I'm going to show. Maya had an option like I'm going to delete that cube right now by pressing selecting the object over here. Oh, sorry, I'm going to go into the attributes over here. By selecting the object and pre by pressing Control A, I'll go to the attributes bar. I can lock the image in the camera over here, but what will happen is like I can change like where I need to lock it, perspective or uh, front view, anything. I can do it over here. But what will happen is like this is going to be seen in the look. It is off in the perspective, but visible in my uh, front view. I can do it over here also. Perspective, I'm going to off it over here. Look. It is only visible in my views where I've gone through. But still, I need to lock my images. So I'm going to press an R over here. So either you can do it by show image planer over here or by pressing Ctrl A. Okay. Once I've done this, I'm going to analyze my object, how it is. Uh, every modeler, I would like to tell every modeling artist, first, when you dig into a software or when you dig into a work, so you must get to know what sort of object is this. For example, I've opened my PureF. You can see my PureF over here. So I'm going to double click on my PureF or the image. It is going to zoom into that image. So we will do it in such a way as like, look, this is made from a cube. Okay. Basic shape is a cube, cylinder, 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 cylinder. Almost everything is a cylinder. And the most important thing is the cube over here. So I'm going to start with my cube modeling cube over here. So I'm in my perspective, so I like the orthographical viewport, that is my uh, 2D views over here. I can go to create, like I can get my uh, object from create also over here. Okay, I can do it. But I use shortcut keys a bit more. So I'll hold shift and right click. I'm going to use a cube over here. So I'm holding shift and dragging it over here. Look, I've got my cube. So I'll go to my orthographical viewport. I'm going to move it over here. So first and foremost, I'm going to get this one in the size, same size. Uh, you can actually see right now what has happened is I'm not able to see my image planer over here. So I will change my object into X-ray mode by going over here, clicking on this icon over here. Okay. This is called as X-ray mode. I'm going to click over here. I've got the X-ray mode over here right now. I'm going to off this. Okay. So I can take out my grid. Okay. So I've got it over here right now. So I'm going to click on my um, X-ray mode over here. I'll take out my grid by uh, pressing grid over here. Look, I've got it. Yeah, I'm kidding. 
Okay, so I'll press R on the keyboard for the scale tool on one more. Okay, right click vertex, select this, mark be selected, click and drag. Look, I'm going to create. here and this way I'm gonna get it on look I've got the shape over here right now so I'll press F on the keyboard by selecting the object and pressing F on the keyboard it's gonna zoom into that object over here okay now what I will be doing is that I need to add some loops over here okay I need to add some loops in such a way like I need to I need to make sure what and how is my object is and according to the, those things I'm going to do it right now so by going into the edge mode shift right click edge to ring and edge split ring I'm going to do it in this way so I've got a loop over here look okay then this is not harder what you can see over here the gun over here look it has a chamfered edge over here that means it is smooth so what we have done is like it is harder right now so what I will do is I'll select my edge just move a bit down to get that curvy look. So same thing I'm going to do down over here. Move down. Look. Over here and this way. So in between, I want it the same way in my center loop also. I'm going to get my loop over here. Right click vertex and move. Okay, first and foremost, what you must do is you must not go with high poly character at first. You must always start with low poly and uh, sorting it out as low as possible. So, look, edge, vertex, so the same thing over here. So you can actually see this, uh, a bit of uh, looping is not proper over here, center looping I'm going to give. So my shoulder part is almost ready, but this is the same part which is going to be continued still here over here uh, so what i will do is i'll select the faces look there are a few ways to do it what we guys will do is we'll like we'll mark the select we'll hold alt and deselect the other portions look or i can hold tab on the keyboard and mark the select again. look okay it is according to your convenience how you want to shift right click and extrude w for move tool so as I've done it, right click vertex, I'm going to play with this. So it has a curve over here, so I've got it at this way. Okay. In the same way, in the center over here, look. You can actually see the gun as over here, but the loop is not proper. So I'm going to give an edge ring over here, vertex, and make sure your vertex is not going to be. It has a prop. It should have a proper flow. That means that it should go in a proper way. You cannot keep some vertex in this way. Look, it should not be in this way. There's a flow for it. Okay. Uh, later on, our, uh, when you unwrap the model, it's going to be a problem when you give it to another person. Uh, when the workflow goes uh, from your hand to another person, it, you're going to face some problem with excess squashing. Sorry. Selected those objects. 
shift right click explore vertex Okay. Uh, see some vertex in this straight line alignment over here. This is shift right click extrude and move. So you could have continued over here in the same way, extruding it. But what I will do is I'm going to take this vertex from here. It's like Photoshop freezing things, what you're going to do. Okay. All good. It is really good over here. Now, what I will do is I extrude my object, uh, the upper portion from here, what you're actually seeing, I'll extrude from this portion itself. So before that, I need to have a loop over here. So I have, I can do it in two ways. One is like shift right click, insert edge loop tool, click and drag. I can do it in this way. This is more convenient. And look, one. The vertex is dancing over here. I must make sure like, See, modeling is nothing but analyzing the object in a proper way and tweaking. Okay, now I'm going to extrude these two faces, which is actually there over here, the top faces. Shift right click, extrude, W for move. So this is a separate portion over here, but I'm going to do it in this way. Look. I'm just making my vertex in a proper way over here and uh, faces select this face hold control and deselect the spaces look right now i only selected this shift right click extrude w for move and get it on okay so to make it straight easier way i'll press r and scale it look i press r and scale that okay and uh, look there's one problem over here is like it has become curved over here but i'm going to make it into a flat okay, look and this way. i need to have a flat edge over here which is going to be outward curve get it done so this is over here and this is over here look Okay, so I need to do this portion right now, the complete Olin block over here. Uh, there are a few ways to do this. Sorry, I can, I did a mistake by coming over here. Extrude, move, vertex. Okay, I'm getting the shape in a proper way right now. Look, object. So I need to get the shape. If I click insert edge loop tool, vertex. So I'll double click this edge over here. I'll press R. I'm going to scale this. Okay. Get this one up. Huh? Okay. Let's select this face. 
hold control and deselect this look right now selected this area if i click extrude w for move and this one see here okay so there's one more important thing for every modeling artist uh, so whenever we start a model what we do basically is like i'll hold i'll hold uh, like right click assign new material i'm going to assign a material called as blend over here so once i've assigned a material blend over here i'm going to off this okay blend is a shining material which is going to give reflection and reflectivities over here it has reflection so it's going to give you a shine so if i press 3 you can actually see this any dent over here you'll get to know but right now this is not like the model which is in the reference image or which i've shown you previously so i'll press one on the keyboard so I've got it over here okay i need to give loops so i'll give a loop over here and center insert edge loop tool vertex there now okay and you can actually see this over here you must have a curve in the same way how we have had it you must have it over here also uh how we can do is like i can double click my edges i can right click and go to the edges mode over here double click this control right click two vertex and two vertex so what happens over here the vertex will be selected so i can just double click and move this behind for that shape over here so each time whenever i do something new i will see i'm going to work with my vertex over here okay playing with the vertex is really important for you guys So double click this, press R, and I'm going to make it straight. So the edge loop tool. Sorry, over here. Now I want to make this handle over here. So how do I do this handle? Is like it is very easy. Like shift right click, insert the edge loop tool, get a loop over here, and that's it. So once I've got this loop, select the down portion, the face, over here. Okay. Now shift right click, extrude W and more. Okay. So once I've done this, the same thing over here. Applies over here also. This edge is going to be hollow because you're you're going to hold a gun. So it's going to be in this way. Look. I click vertex. There it is. In the corner. Then I'm going to do a shape over here. Add edge loops. There's a shape. It is over here in this way. So another loop over here, uh, but I'll make sure like the loop has been follow following in a proper way over here. Okay, good. So if I click insert edge loop tool, get a loop over here. So I'm going to play with the vertex over here. Okay. Select these two faces. If I click extrude W move. Look, I finished this portion. Okay, 
for this front purpose i'm going to give a edge loop over here Get this curve properly. So the body portion is ready, completed. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is like I need to have. If I press three over here, you can actually see the mesh is something different over here. The it is not in the games like how it is. How you guys see in the game. So what I will do is look. I'm going to match. This R scales as it goes down, it becomes, you know, actually the side view was not required for me to do it uh, because uh, it is quite good, uh, it was visible good in the front view itself. So once I've done this, I'll give a loop over here. Okay. So I'm going to select from here to here. So how am I doing the selection of starting point and ending point? I'm going to double click by holding shift. I'll come into the orthographical view and I'll just set a current dot look. In the same way, it is going to be down also over here. On portion, I'm only going to do from here. Okay, I click vertex, move this one down. I press R for scaling. Look, now I need a loop over here. So shift right click, insert edge loop. One. You can actually see where I've given the loop over here. Vertex. You could have done it on the front view itself. Okay, even in the same way for the behind portion also. So a person is going to hold his hand. Think according to the physical world. Take the reference of this physical world over here. I'll show you. Look, you can actually see this. Always have this uh, reference images that QRF is really important for you. Look, you can actually see this. It is curved, chamfered. We have, we have almost completed this area. Okay. For to select those edges mode so i'll go to the side view that is really important for me vertex so Undoing those things. So I'll select my edges over here, move this. And view. Okay, once you've done this, vertex mode. show you when and where this object should be placed, where, where this vertex should be placed over there, where and how it should be placed. Okay, now I've done this. Now look, you can actually see I've done this done. The handle portion is completed. Okay. What look like still we have many things to be done over here. Same with the vertex over here. 
Okay. Now, in the gun itself, we have this smooth edge over here. You can actually see this. Okay, it has gone inside some places. It has come out over here. Look. Edge. Shift right click. Insert edge loop tool. Get over here. Okay, this is good. Yeah, this is good right now. So, edge. trying to give this proper space for the edges over here. Right now, you can actually see this is more smooth. Okay, this has this curve. Uh, when I, once I press three, it has a different way, but once I press in one, it has in the different way. Like it has not got that smooth curve over here. So shift right click, insert edge loop tool, over here, vertex and more. I'm going to play with all the vertex over here. So look, one side is almost coming in the proper way. I even can go to the double click on the edge mode and uh, click over here. So I want the same smoothness towards this side also. Insert edge loop tool, vertex and more. Okay, look, the mesh flow should be proper over here right now. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, please put it down to us across. So uh, we will try to sort out your questions over here. And look, in this portion, you have this attached over here. So how will I do this? So vertex, adjust this one to this corner over here. Try to avoid getting more vertex or edges like whatever extra edge looks over here. And I'm going to bridge these two right now. So bridging, you need to have same number of vertex or like same number of mesh flows over here to opposite also. So this can go over here, this can go over here, this can go over here, but in, in between we need a loop over here. Vertex, get it down, get it down. Get it down. Okay, once you've done this, you must always make sure it's like Follow the flow of that. Look, edge at a round. Sorry. Look, it has round over here. I'm going to select the polygons over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So once you've done this, I need to bridge this. Shift right click and bridge. Bridge faces. Look what has happened over here. So I'll just reset my I'm going to press D on the keyboard, but once you press 3, you'll get to know there's some problem over here. And the most important thing is that I'll only be doing half of this. Another half, I'm going to delete this. 
look and delete it. So if I double click on this, the complete object is getting selected. You can actually see in between over here. Delete this. Uh, there was a little bit of error. So merge work. Uh, in between, you need to have a loop right now over here. This edge should connect over here. So what I will do is I'll, I'm going to use something called as multi-cut. Okay. Shift right click, multi-cut. Click and drag. Click and drag. And just have a look at it once. Right click to end the command. Look, I've got this. It's perfect. Look, I've got it over here. Any curve you choose, any mesh. Give a loop. For example, I would like to make it a bit hollow like this. That's what I've got. Perfectly. Match it. Try to match it. The flow should be proper. Over here. I'm sorry. Okay. So, what should I do for another half over here? I'm going to use something called as duplicate special. Okay. Uh, you must be aware of this thing, duplicate special, uh, like because we'll not be doing complete model in our uh, flow. There was, it was not hollow, like it was not in this circular way. So, there. so where do I get duplicate special? I'll go to edit, duplicate special. Okay. I'll click on duplicate special over here. I've just resetted my tool. So if it is on copy, okay, scale the X, Y, and Z axis. So I'm going to go on X axis minus and apply. Look, what has happened is I've got a duplicate of this, but if I do anything over here onto one object, another object is another side is not getting affected. It is because I'm not given instance. Okay. So I'll go over here, instance and apply, close this. Look right now. Both these sides is like whatever I do on the one side, another side is going to be affected on that. Look. Okay. Onto this. Shift right click, insert edge loop tool, get a loop over here. Now start adding some loops. If the flow is not proper over here. I'm going to select this vertex. Yeah, no. So I keep on playing with the tweaking the vertex. Press F on the keyboard to fit into the shape. So vertex. So I want this hollow. Like sorry, not hollow, round in shape. Round. So you can do it with the edges. Round in shape. Look like this. Okay. So I've kept as low as possible over here right now. Low vertex in a very good way. Yeah, it's coming in a proper manner. I've done the trigger portion. Okay. After this, I'm going to do this portion right now. So start building from one one by one. Okay. Don't try to mess around no, over here right now. So, okay, I'll do this. Okay. It's quite easy. Cube. Make a small cube. 
less than alpha. So, I need a center plus R scale this. Once I've done this, then enter the position of issue. here. I click vertex, move, and look over here. In the same way, loop, I, you can use something called as edge loop. I can I can just use once one loop at, at a time over here right now. So if I want to if I want to make the same thing happen towards my left hand side, only in edge loop, I'm just talking about edge loop, there are other tools also. Shift right click and I'm going to use offset loop to loop. I've got it. So but over here the offset tool is not going to work. Look I wanted to I, I, in center I need a loop right now. So I need to add my ring to show you offset loop. Sometimes this tool you may not get in a proper way like hand uh, grip over the hand. So just practice with this tool a bit. Okay. So I'm going to go to the front view. Vertex select this. Okay. So I've done this. Move. So I would like to do this smaller portion right now. Shift right click, insert edge loop tool, get this loop over here. Make it straight. Okay. Once I've got this loop, let me check in my QRF how it is. Okay, you can actually see this is smaller than the bigger one. So Select only two faces, two insects, and get it on. Okay. So I need to increase the loop over here to get more smoother. So I'll use offset edge loop tool. Look. Sorry, I'm going to play around with it a bit to get so much effort. Look like this. Select my edges. That's it. Okay, so I've done this. If I click offset edge loop to look, I'm going to give a loop over here. So this is called as tightening the edge. The reason because I'll press control one and I'll just only isolate the object which I'm doing. If I press three right now, you can actually see uh, this is not in this way. This is actually a harder edge over here. Look, it is not in this way. So for this, what I will do is I'll give a loop over here to make it stand in that position over there. It should not. Gonna be over here. Then insert the edge loop tool over here. Make sure that you're gonna work in a so I gave a loop in between a uh, edge loop. The main reason is because in texturing time it should not affect me. The strength of the model is going to become very less. So I've done it in this way. I'll press control one for isolating again. Look, I've got this model in a perfect way. Okay. So once I've done this, uh, next is this portion. Okay. Uh, so how do I do the supporting portion over here? Like this is also in the shape of a cube. Okay. So I'll take a cube, shift right click, cube, Look, uh, few things like 
I had to do is that this portion of the edge. Uh, sorry, this face from here. I'll hold tab on the keyboard. Select it in this way. And mod. Vertex. So get back to your model whenever your correction has been must and should required. Get back, work on that. Okay, this is done. Okay, so uh, now I will delete this portion, but I will do something called as duplicate faces. So I can select my object over here, shift right click and duplicate face. Okay, what happened right now is I've got another loop over here. Look, I've got another cube over here. But the orientation center pure point is over here. It is not with the cube over here. So I'll go to modify center pure. So I've called it into the center over here. Vertex move this. I think so. This is quite smaller than this. So I'm going to move this. Vertex. Okay. Yes, we have got it. in this way. I'm going to select these edges, shift right click, extrude, W and move this. Look. In this way. Here. Okay. I've got that cube right now. Inner face, once I've done this, please delete this. Okay. So once I've done this, again, give a loop. Uh, so let me go to my pure one more time and see the uh, detail position over there. So you can actually see this quite smaller, more thinner, okay, more chamfered in the way. So I've got it over here. I'll have another loop. Vertex. Look. So in the pure app, you must always have this look. It is straight down over here. So I'll select this object, I'll go to my front view. I'm going to take my PRF to the side. Select this, I'll press R and scale this. Look, at a straight over here, I'm going to get it down. Okay, so now duplicate special shortcut key is Control Shift and D over here. So I've already done it once. So I've got it over here. So now if I press Control Shift and D, you can actually see. There's a difference between this duplicate special. It exactly came into the center of my grid. So half and half look, control shift D. So it has come over here. But if I do this control shift D, it is exactly on the same object over here. So I don't need that one right now. So I need to move my pure point to this. So look, I'm going to snap it to the vertex. Snap to vertex. I hold. I can even do it by pressing B and V on my keyboard and snap this one to vertex. Now the pure point has changed. Control shift D. That's it. Duplicate it. Over here. Okay. Okay. After this, I would like to do this portion right now. And the pure up again, go to the pure up, have a look at it. So I got this view. We are quite smaller. You can actually see this. Okay, it is a little bit half a size. From here. And just create a cube. So I'll go to the orientations over here, like adjustments. I'm going to select all my axes, X, Y, and Z axis over here, and press zero on the keyboard. It will come into center. Let it come down over here. Let's move this. And now, see. What you need to do is you need to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, this is quite in the proper size which I was expecting for. Vertex. And more. Look, and this way. So, to get the shape, 
select this no. insert the edge loop tool select loop okay over here this is perfect right now and the qrf also it is in the same way look this over here and uh, this is achieved in texturing uh, you can actually do it, do a good texturing over there to get that so double click on this edge this edge it is small look look now to make it more smoother Guys, if you have any questions, you can mark it down. Like you can just ask us. Okay, vertex again has the down water. How it is in the down format? Uh, like downward, it is the same thing over here also. So, boom. vertex okay i've done this so in the same way uh, look um, usually i select my object right click assign new material a blend always will be assigned from me okay so there's a reason behind it to get to know the depth over here so i've done it Here. So I can give offset edge loop tool. So this position over here and this area like this. Same way over here. Loop. Be a loop. You get. Low as possible first. So, as you add vertex, you need to go make sure the topology is proper. Okay, look vertex. The mesh flow should be in a proper way. Okay, once I've done this, I'm going to do this portion right now. Uh, look, I have a habit of using. A proper number of uh, segment over here. Like this is actually in the cyl cylinder way right now. This is cylindrical. So what I will do is I'll right click, create a cylinder on this exactly on this. Click and drag. Look, I've created a cylinder in this way. Okay, on this, I'll press E on the keyboard. I'll hold J to snap it to each five degree. I can even directly just go to my attributes over here, check which axis it is it. I can just give 90 degree over here. It is going to rotate. That's not an issue at all. So once I've done this, go to the properties of my cylinder over here by selecting your cylinder and going to the properties. I have the habit of giving less segment over here. For example, I'll give eight. Look, eight is too less over here. So always go on two table. Okay. It is too less. If I, I cannot go in ten, Re, okay. Uh, yes, sorry. I can go in ten over here. Sorry, not on ten because I need to have my segments in the proper way. I was confused a bit. Twelve is proper one. You can actually see horizontal lines and vertical lines are proper over here. Vertex. Select this. And get it down still. Sure, this is enough. Over here, like this. Enter orientation and uh, take out the cap segments, make it at zero. You don't need any cap over here. So, decrease the radius a bit. Image, I'm going to get it down. 
okay so i would like to complete this so look i need to do this portion right now look i need to do this portion so what i'm going to do is just right click insert edge loop tool click and drag over here like this double click this right just right click extrude it okay many people what they do is they're going to click on center orientation scaling and you can do it in this way also look everything in one over here about a proper way and add a loop in center because changing edge okay once you've done this it is well and good okay it's good i'm going to delete this portion in the same way i'm going to delete this portion also the cap segments over here now i need to do this first click this thing so shift right click insert edge loop tool get a loop over here and this thing and you guys can see this so let me see the visibility point over here yeah this is thinner it is not so much thick or uh, it's not having so much depth over here so what i will do is once select my faces click on only two faces select only two faces shift right click extrude and move this up okay i press r scale this because it is quite thinner over here vertex so if i try to move this vertex it is not going to come properly over here so wait Then over here, give a loop in between. So look, edge goes down. Okay, but it is too thick outside. So give a loop in between. Press R. Once I press three, you'll get to know what shape I'm, I was trying to achieve. Find your material, blend. Okay. Uh, some people will actually not off this over here. They're gonna they have they will work like this only. But I keep on always uh, sRGB next to the sRGB. I'm gonna off this. Okay. So I'm gonna go into the grayscale mode over here. Let's have got this. I'm just tweaking the vertex. Over here. So I've done this portion. It's quite good. So shift right click, insert edge loop tool. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Like this. Shift right click, extrude. Center orientation. Click, scale this, scale it to the center. Give a loop in between. Press R, scale it together. Move spherical over here. So once you have done still here, 
Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. You could have asked me, you can just duplicate this and get it on over here, or you could have extended this. Uh, but I'm quite happy with this. Right click extrude over here. Once I've extruded, you must know the shape over here, how it is, what it is, and all. So I've got it still here. Or look, you can see it's still here. Okay. If I click insert edge loop tool, get a loop still here. In center also, I need a loop. Okay. So what I will do is to make this whole. I'm going to use multi cut and Look, I'm going to snap it over here and just say by holding shift. Look at this way. And percentage, snap this. Vertex. Know this I'm sorry oh. okay look I've got the shape over here Insert the edge loop and try to make it straight over here. Look, press R, make it straight. Vertex. Okay, select my this whole portion over here, press, press F to reset into the page over here. Look, shift right click, extrude it, inverse, and delete it in this manner. So I'll give a loop in between, offset edge loop. This way. Look. If I press 3 right now, you're getting that hold over here. So I'm not going to do the same thing over here also. But what I will do is I'm going to select my faces, shift right click, I'm going to duplicate face over here. So duplicating is really important for you, like it's going to be easier. Again, same thing. Modify, center pivot, look, 1. Control D for duplicate, Control D for duplicate. Duplicate face is not Control D, okay. Duplicating for uh, object is Control D, okay. So I've selected a particular face over there. So I don't need this half. So let's delete on the keyboard. I'll go to the top, you guys. I'll press F on the keyboard. Uh, I'm going to select these three and make it into one group. So I'm going to attach this by pressing Shift right click and combining it. Okay, combining it, it will make it one object. So delete this portion. So it is one object right now. Like from here to here. Take these two edges, shift right click and bridge. Bridge. Okay. 
same thing i'm going to do it over here also by selecting these two so if i click combine so i'll isolate this by pressing control 1 and bridge so a loop at some places which have gone for high poly high loops and low loops also look this is completed extrude this I've got this one. I hold B and B, map it into the grid. Control Shift B and duplicate this. Look, perfectly done over here. Okay. If I press three on the keyboard, you'll get to know what is the shape over here. Look, so it has the same look over here. So in between loops for strengthening. Okay, well, good. So I'll go to edit, delete all my types. History, my history is piling up. So I've done still here. Uh, okay, now I'm going to do this portion, the cylindrical thing, which is having more attractive look over here. So how can I do this? First and foremost, think about the object that is going to be there. at what sort of object as it is so it's a cylinder okay so i can just go over here shift right click and use a cylinder i can drag a cylinder over here this 90 degrees rotation rotation rotating cat segments i'm going to take zero i'm going to give axis as 12 Okay, only two ones are, uh, so it is very good to remember. So get the shape over here, lift it up, press R, scale this. Okay, so I've got this one in this manner over here. So I'll press R and scale this. Now here you get the tricky thing which should be done. So what I will do is I'll do the easier portion first. Select this face. So it's over here. Okay. Shift right click, extrude this. Click on center orientation. Click on scaling and scale it. Okay. No. This thing. Okay. So I'm not going to do it from one object itself. Uh, the pipe completely over here. What you are actually seeing, I'm not going to do it from one object. I'm going to do it in other objects. Okay. Once you've done this, industries. There are many industries which have worked for some ads and all. So what happens over here is like movies and ads which have worked. My artists, like the QC controlling and other departments, they'll ask for a loop over here. Mesh flow should be proper. Some people will keep it at this way only. But this will cause a big problem for you. So what I will do is I'll right shift right click, multi cut loop, click and drag. Over here. Okay. Look, always make sure you're having four corners. Look, click and drag. Click and drag. Look, I've, I've got this four corners. Over here, I need to do the cylinder. So I'll hold tab on the keyboard, mark me select this. I'm going to extrude it inwards in this way and keep it over here. That's it. Nothing apart from that. And in the same way over here in the front also. Front it has in a different shape over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, look, I'm going to come down still here. I'm going to take it still here like this. Extrude this. Come over here. Press R. 
and scale this into the center over here. Quite good. Okay, it's quite good over here. Press Control One to isolate. Same thing over here. Shift right click, multi cut, and allow. Over here, in the same manner. Okay, I need to it to be more smoother. Multi cut. And I can just right click, go to the vertex, select my vertex. Yeah, done. It depends like how you want it, and that way you can do it. Select this upper and low portion of the edge. Or this behind. So it is a bit hollow, no? I do it on this way. So. If you are able to find it out, or uh, find out a different way method, so you can do it because industry always will uh, increase the people who are actually doing something new. Mom. Over here, I need to it to be more smoother. Over here, look. So, in case if there's a misplace of vertex which has happened over here, select these vertex, shift right click, average vertex. So, sometimes. What happens is like it is going to relax the vertex, the flow. It do not worry about the left hand side. I'm not going to duplicate this, but I'm going to make it flat, a bit flatter over here. Good. So I'm going to make sure that my vertex is being flowed in a proper manner over here. Okay. Once you've done this. I'm going to do the inner portion over here. You can just see this one in the QRS. Look, this has gone inside. So, how do you analyze this over here right now? Okay. So, what I will do is shift right click, insert edge group tool, go right down over here. Okay. Select my polygons from this way. Over here, shift right click, extrude, center orientation, scale it into center, click and drag it, and move it like this. Okay, once you've done that, you will look. Okay, uh, so I'll give a loop over here. Give a loop over here in the center. Everywhere I've given a loop. Okay. This is the easiest way to do. I'm deleting this. Well, right click, shift, right click, polygon display, back face culling. So Do it over here and this way. Okay. Now same thing over here. I need to make it a little bit spherical in shape. So I'll give a loop in center, and I'm going to use multi cut through my corners over here. Okay. I can just go over here, right click, click and drag and this way. Look. Don't avoid three corners. I'll show you how to avoid this. Okay, it is in this way. So to avoid those three corners, I'm 
I've got a loop in this way. Look. Delete this. Have you got? So I'm holding snap uh, like shift over here. So it is going to show me. You can even re, uh, change these settings over here also. Uh, multi cut. Okay. Vertex. Now we here. So you need to play around with the vertex over here. Look at this. I'm going to do the same things over here. I'll skip that portion right now. So you must follow the same method what you have done over here onto this also. So once I've done this, we have this metal rod look, which goes over here in this manner. So if I'm going to do it, so with the help of cylinder, it's going to take a little longer time. Like extrude, 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 and all. So what I will do is I'll go to cur curves over here. I'll take a EP curve. Okay, click. Create a curve in this way. Okay, then look. Control right click. Control vertex is over here. Like this object, so we use for undo, maintain this flow. Look, I've got a cylinder over here, my like a EP curve over here, I'm sorry. So what I will do is, I'll take a cylinder right now. Cap segment zero, and 12 segments. So 12 segments is really good. Rotate it. I'll hold J and I'm going to snap it to 90 degree over here. Uh, the reason why I have taken cylinder over here is because my EP curve starting was from here only. So I'll select my face. I'll hold shift and right click, select this. Okay. Shift, shift and right click. Shift right click, extrude, I've got this curve over here in this manner. Only thing which is missing is the divisions right now. I'm going to increase the divisions. Look. All well and good, which is really in a perfect way. So once you've done this, your EP curve, if I press 4 on the keyboard, your EP curve still controls the object. Look. So if I will click, if I if I'm going to delete this EP curve, object is getting deleted because it still has the control over here. So what I will do is I'll go to edit, delete all by types. 
and history. Now, if I delete the curve, it's not getting deleted. Look, got it. Okay. Now, select the face. We rotate this. And this edge is not so much proper. So uh, what I will do is shift right click, edit edge flow. I'll press the key on the keyboard to repeat the previous command. If this is good right now. Simple one, simple one, isolate. Okay. Uh, w for move. Okay, press R and make it straight. Look, you can actually see this over here. It has a cylindrical shape. Either you can do this one from the uh, cylinder from this, or I'll do it from the pipe only. That's so that is going to be a little bit uh, easier. So I'm going to select this. That's it, finish. So I, I don't need this, I'm going to delete this. Control one for isolating. Press W. Control D for duplicating. And duplicate. Okay, so same thing over here also. I'm going to take this, uh, this portion I'm going to do right now, the support for this. So it's a cylinder. Well, tap segment zero. Press R for scaling. Vertex W for So once I've done this, I'll press Control One, isolating the things. Shift right click, multi cut, click and drag. Look. Edge loop, so there's no different any shape over here. So offset loops I can give over here like this. Look, this is completed. Okay, so same way I'm going to do this portion with the help of cube. So I can just take right click and a cube. Edge loop. Vertex. Okay, so this is going to be over here. And this way. So, if you have any doubts, you can just ask me or ask.
Now this portion, and before going to this, I'm going to go over here because uh, this is a closed object over here. Look. Vertex. In gaming, most of the things should be clear in texturing only. Once I've done so much, now I'm going to do uh, insert edge loop tool one over here, another one over here. can just pull this down. Yeah, and that's it. Look, I've exactly got the uh, in the same way method. Only thing is that the meshes are very low right now. Okay, all done, so here, now I need to do this portion, so So I have just saved it. I'm sorry. Vertex. And get this one over here. Okay. Now, how do I do this portion? This is also in the cylindrical way. So shift right click. I'm going to take a cylinder. Over here. Like this, They're exactly in the same way. Segments is 12, that segment 0. Control right click vertex and get this one. I could have even used lattice over here. Reason why I'm not using lattice is because a manual is far better. Multi cut.
once you have done this i need to do the hollow portion inside so i'm going to give insert edge loop tool over here and over here okay select the faces these three faces over here so shift right click uh, sorry this the upper portion is also there okay like this if i do shift right click extrude i can actually i'm not going to center orientation i'm going to go over here extrude and go inside okay and delete the inner portion this is not necessary for us okay we're going to keep it on this way as low as possible so this is the way another half will be just duplicated from here uh, now i'm going to do this portion so this is quite easy so this is just a cube which i'll be taking it over here sorry Taking a cube over here, I want it in center, so I'll press zero. Okay, so it is over here. Press R, get down to that shape over here. So. Insert edge loop tool. Okay. Extrude it over here in this way. So even the same thing. This is hollow, or like sorry, cylinder, uh, like it has a curvature over here. So get it down. Look in this manner. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this shape over here. What is actually that? The curvature, what is actually that? So to do that, I'm going to use shift right click, insert edge loop tool, and get a loop over here exactly. Okay, select the space, shift right click, extrude, and mold down. Oh, sorry, I've done it over here also. Over here, vertex get the shape. Insert edge loop tool. Sorry, this is played with texturing portion. Okay, and this way. So same thing, I'm going to duplicate and keep it over here by pressing Ctrl D, placing it over here, press R, scale it, and get it down over here. That's it. the same object as over here. So this is also in the same manner. Take a cylinder, uh, before cylinder, I'll take an EP curve. Okay, 
Take a cylinder. Go to the attribute part over here. Cell segments, cap segment zero. Select this, press E. At present, what I'll do is I'm going to load up this file. Look, I've selected this. Okay, look. See, I've selected this. I'll select the face, select the shift right click, extrude, and there we go. Rotate it and this way. So I'm going to play with the vertex right now. I'm going to play with the uh, flow. Insert edge loop tool, press R, make it straight, extrude, pull it out, and inside. Look. Edge, and then. So same thing, I'll do it over here also, but I'll go to edit. Vertex, move. I'm just playing around with the curvature over here, just bringing this. which is in this way. I'm just going to use edit edge flow with you. Okay. Everything is really good. But I look to so I'll use a loop over here and vertex. I'm going to move this one. So this also has a bulged one. So uh, 
if you have any doubts or any questions, please let me know. Is that so? You're on mute, sir. You're on mute. You're on mute, sir. You're on mute. <clears throat> अभी तक तो कुछ हमारे पास में बच्चों के क्वेश्चंस आए नहीं है लेकिन यस अगर कोई भी क्वेश्चंस आते हैं तो आप कोई भी किसी भी तरह के क्वेश्चंस कर सकते हैं और इस क्वेश्चन के आंसर्स हम आप लोगों को आपकी ईमेल आईडी से और इनकी चीज़ों पे हम आपको प्रोवाइड कर देंगे सो इट्स अ ग्रेट 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 सर आपने बहुत डिटेल में और बहुत अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन किया और पूरा मॉडल आप लोगों आपने यहाँ पर हमें दिखाया बना करके कि कैसे एक टोपोलॉजी होती है कैसे एक मॉडल क्रिएट किया जाता है तो इट्स अ ग्रेट थिंग सर एनी थिंग अगर कुछ स्टूडेंट्स के क्वेश्चंस हैं तो आप अभी पूछ सकते हैं अदरवाइज हम आपको uh, बाद में इसके क्वेश्चंस के आंसर्स हम आपको दे देंगे आप इस पर कमेंट कर सकते हैं ओके सर राइट नाउ तो हमारे पास में कुछ क्वेश्चंस नहीं है यस yes, बट कुछ सजेशंस आए हैं जैसे uh, हमें uh, uh, एक्सजेन के ऊपर किसी ने ये लिखा है कि हमें एक्सजेन के ट्यूटोरियल्स और चाहिए डिटेल में तो हम बिल्कुल आपके लिए वो चीज़ करेंगे हमें एंड मैच मूविंग के हिसाब से भी हम चीज़ें आपको बताएंगे सो ओके गाइस थैंक यू